Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Friends, a lot of folks have requested me to make video on uh, difference between aggregate by key and combined by key. So uh, today when I was thinking about uh, how to present this concept in front of you, uh, I thought it would be very good idea to just start by understanding what is aggregate by key and uh, uh, you know how it is used and uh, what is combined by key and how it is used after that we'll be discussing what is the difference between difference between these two operations so as part of this video i'm going to discuss with you uh, what is aggregate by key and how it is used so uh, so let's not waste time let's start uh, before that i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and share the video with your friends okay so let us start with uh, our explanation so as suggested by many of folks uh, you know i am going to take our approach of code plus explanation in this particular video so uh, let us start with the definition of uh, aggregate by key so aggregate by key is an operation which is uh, used on pair rdds so if you don't know pair rdds uh, it means that uh, every record is a tuple. So there are two parts of the tuple. First part is key and second part is value. So uh, when you apply uh, aggregate by key on that uh, uh, pair RDD, uh, you group all the values uh, which have same key and then apply some operation on that grouped values. So that's basically what is aggregate by key operation. So it is different from reduce by key or group by key operation. I have already made a video that what is difference between group by key and reduce by key. You can uh, see that on our channel. Uh, how aggregate by key is different from reduce by key and group by key. So uh, think of reduce by key as a special case of aggregate by key. Now how it is a special case. So in aggregate by key the type of the value uh, that you input can be different from the type of value that it is going to output so it is going to output a key value pair the type of values in input and output can be different in reduce by key it has to be same so essentially the reduce by key operation is a special case of aggregate by key so uh, you can define all the operation which you can define by reduce by key with aggregate by key also so whenever you define using aggregate by key function you have to pass three kind of three parameters to this function first is initial value so assume a case when you are uh, uh, when you are doing addition of all the values within a which have the same key so in that scenario this initial value will be 0 uh, so uh, if you are multiplying then the initial value will be 1 so these are the kind of uh, values that you have to pass as part of initial value then you need to give a combine function combine function is used to combine all the values within a partition so uh, within a single partition if uh, it wants to know that how to apply the combiner and uh, then the third uh, thing is merge function uh, so merge function is used to combine different values which are coming from uh, different partitions it, it is com it merges the values across the partitions so uh, let us also see uh, you know what is defined in uh, uh, spark uh, documentation so it says that uh, uh, you give kv as kb pair as an input and it returns you ku which essentially means that uh, value of uh, uh, value thing uh, the type of value in input or output can be different so for each values for each each key are aggregated using given combined function and a neutral zero value allows an aggregated value pair that is different than the input value pair while avoiding unnecessary allocations like in group by key the number of reduced tasks is configurable through an 
optional second parameter so you if this parameter is optional you can define that how many reduced tasks you want to run as part of this operation so fairly simple let us understand this thing by an example okay so in uh, let us first understand the objective of this example so imagine a data set where you have uh, person names and every person may have taken multiple tests and as part of a test they have received a score so we want to find out so all people have taken equal number of tests so we have to find out that uh, uh, what is the total marks for every person so i have just tried to keep things simple for, uh, so for this example uh, we will only need that person name uh, and marks we are not taking uh, test id kind of uh, data so just to keep things simple for you so uh, this is my input data i just defined it and then i'm going to create a rdd out of it and then i'm going to split my every record by equal to and uh, treat first part as key and second part as value basically i'm going to define a tuple so uh, uh, this is i'm going to create a pair rdd okay i have run it again okay so we have defined a pair rdd uh, where uh, first part is key and uh, marks are value now i need to define a initial value here i am going to find out the sum of all the scores for that person so our initial value is 0 now this is the combiner function here uh, i am going to take uh, the sum that we have till now and the new value so we are going to sum we are going to add uh, sum and new value so uh, our new value is going to be uh, string type right so we have just converted into integer so we are going to combine these two and we are going to get a combiner function okay so after defining the combiner function now we need to define the merge operation which will combine the sum across the partitions so let us run it awesome now we will run our aggregate by key function so we pass the initial value our combiner function and merge function now we have got the output rdd let us see what are the different values in output rdd so for harry total sum is this and for raj total marks are this so this is what it represents uh so you might have you uh, you must notice here that the sum operation is both associative and commutative so aggregate by key is normally used when your operation that you are going to do is both associative and commutative so multiplication uh, and uh, addition both are associative and commutative operations so that's why we used aggregate by key here and uh, this is a simple usage of uh, uh, aggregate by key uh, uh, function in our next video we'll see how combine by key can be used if you have any question please post it in our comment section and uh, please subscribe to our channel and share this video thank you